This yeah. call is being recorded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got my man. Half a gallon goods in the building. How you feeling, fellow? I'm good. I'm good, man. I'm tired. All this motherfucking snow out here. I, uh, I don't know if you got snow where you at, but... You know, yeah, I'm, I'm right down. I'm not too far from the city. I know this. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know they say, uh, you know what you said? You said, uh, you said you can't buy a house with street credit, man. Let's start there. Can you buy right. a house with street credit, man? <laughs> nah, man. Me, yo, me saying that is real. Me saying that is, uh, I had to learn that, that, uh, I'm going to tell you exactly what I had to learn. This is rough shit. I was making all the bread in the world when I was in the streets. I was, I was getting money. You know what I'm saying? Fast, right. quick money. I'm getting money. But when I started to want to get certain things, like even like a car, I didn't have Can't the get paperwork it. to do it. Mm. Like even to go buy a car, you need certain type of paperwork to show where this money coming from. That's a fact. And that's when I start to realize, you know what I'm saying? Then then I wanted to go, uh, you know, I wanted to get a house. When I got to the point where I, I had enough money for the house, I didn't have the paperwork. I didn't have the 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 the, the trail, the paper trail to mm. show right where this where money, money come from. Or, or I can consistently, I can consistently pay for the house. So mm. th- that's where that line came from, because it's like it's true. Like I realize I, I have all this credit in the street. I got so much credit in the street because you know I always do, I always do business good. That's number one with anything I do. So if I'm in the streets, I'm gonna do business good. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a stand up dude. I treat everybody. I got I get love from a whole bunch of people. So I'm, I got so much credit in the street. But when I want to go do these other things, I need to do in real life. That shit ain't holding no weight with this. Oh, yeah, that that that, that shit helped me to understand. Mm-hmm. I was saying that because when I bought my house, I had a um, I had a car, just an extra car that was just sitting in my parking lot, and I wound up selling it. And when I went to put that money in the account, when the bank go to check, they wanted to know where that money came from, so I had to go get the paperwork, go to the DMV, prove that I sold the car, right. prove who I sold it to. They don't want no. You can't buy a house on loans, basically. They don't, <laughs> they don't. They don't. They don't understand that, you know. I shout out to Geechee, but Geechee said, "I just, I just, I just had a house in the Bronx. I sold it, got rid of it. Like, cause, cause mm-hmm. what I was doing is, I, I know how to. What I used to do some years ago now, too. Well, when I first got into it, I knew how to take houses. Now, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm gonna school y'all real quick. It, it's ways you could. And I'm not gonna give you all again, but it's, it's ways you can take houses, right? You can take them. You mm-hmm. can, if you can get in a house, you can take it." fix it up mm-hmm. and put a lean hole on it. Mm. And and when and, and when the bank comes, because the city can't own the house, if I'm saying it right, the city can't own the house, the bank has to come get it. Sometimes them houses Correct. will be there for fucking 10 years. When the bank comes to get the house, they have to pay you what the lean hole is on the house. Mm. Or you can keep that house. Or they mm. can just write it over to you. A lot of people don't know this shit. I was doing this shit for years before. So, but his line was, "It's a said. condo." He said it was a condo. That's what he said. He said he's he got an apartment. No, oh, I said like that. that. I see the line. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because now, but, but because now, but what I realize is this. What I realize is this. When I go get a big house again, because I just I just had one. I got sold it. I got rid of it, and then I I, I moved into a condo. Now. It's still mine. People don't understand when you got a condo, it's not rent you paying. You pay a mortgage. Right. It's yours. You know what I'm saying? It's yours. It's yours. Um, but when I move into a big house, I'm going to do that when, I got, when I'm got i married and I got a family. You know what I'm saying? Like a, a family. Move into a big house like mm-hmm. yourself ain't the shit. I realize no. that, nigga. Move into a big house ain't, ain't the shit. I'm, when I move into this, it's like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, when I move into a house again, cause I'm, I'm looking yeah. at my next year. I'm going to look for another journal. Yeah, I'm going to look. Move in there with girl, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, do it big. Daughter, like shit, shit like that. That ain't for you to just move in by yourself and think you're gonna call the <laughs> niggas over all day and do that. Yeah, that yeah, shit yeah. Whack. <laughs> crash you know that. So, right, right, right. No, no. Yeah, that shit ain't a crash. Ain't no man, young yeah. Right. So okay, yeah, you nah, got a uh, you get you got it. You know what I'm saying? Just went down, uh, smack volume six, and you know uh, there's been a lot of different reviews about the event overall, but I want to talk to you about your battle, you know what I'm saying? Like, what motivated you? What was the drive for this battle? Because, you know, you got a lot of people calling it how they call it. Some people got him, some people got you, which is all good, mm-hmm. super close on the app. But what was the motivating factor for you 
versus him? Um, what, what, what motivates me when I come out, period, is because I I always come on and take the top nigga at the top. Like, mm. that's what motivates me. The, the, the doubt is what motivates me. I pick these people on purpose because I know going into the battle, I'm going to be doubted on something. They, I tell you, they paint a different narrative every time I come out. Well, okay. I don't know. Uh, Rock and Goods ain't never faced somebody like Rock that's going to be barking like that. He ain't, that's, that smooth shit ain't going to work. Um, right. T-Top. T-Top is, is, the, is the legend killer. He, when I took T-Top, he, he killed every legend. He's the, he's the, the legend killer. Um, he could think T-Top won't be too much for Goods. Uh, okay. He, and, and so far, Cassidy. Nah, Cassidy's Cassidy. Goods can't say yeah. nothing to Cassidy. He can't talk money with Cassidy. Yeah, these are right. all narratives they painted with me coming out. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay. And I think that's what fuels me. I not think I know that. That's what, that's what I'm, I fight that. That's what makes me want to go in there and prove people wrong. I just love to prove somebody wrong, especially when I know what I'm going to do. Like against Rod, mm. they, they, had, they had me losing on the polls against Rod 85 to 15%. 85 mm. to 15 percent saying that's disrespectful saying, <laughs> kind of right. no it's cool but saying because because what rock do at this time rock is on fucking fire yeah yeah battle I, already yeah, yeah yeah he's on fire but i can't say like they saying goods ain't gonna be able to do that smooth shit against rock with rock bark and it's gonna be too much for him but i can't say mm-hmm. did you ever stop to think rock ain't ever face a nigga like me that after all that barking that's coming after him smooth and saying that type of shit to him, never. I faced yeah. people like Rock that yell and, and bark and do that. But they're not looking at it like that. But I can't say that because I don't want to get too much away. So I just deal with all that shit and be quiet. And just that shit. Yeah, that license. Me. That, that drive, the license, the glove. Box. I remember that. That was a few. You had some shit in there. You had some shit in there. I ain't going to lie. Don't you stood bad, in front bro. of that don't Wakanda. Bad. You stood in front of the Wakanda shit, man. That was crazy. That Wakanda this shit. This is your so king. I, <laughs> I stood in front of the Wakanda shit. Look, I stood in front of the Wakanda shit, right? Came back the second round. Clearly beat him. And the second round, he he was on a second round winning streak. Let's be clear. Yeah, he was killing everybody. Second round winning streak. Clearly <laughs> beat him the second and made them boo him the second. That got to go down to history. Yeah. Because this wasn't too far after he had uh, the seatbelt won't buckle up in the second round. <laughs> that, nigga got so much, that, nigga, that nigga got so much big fucking one hit is them two joints right there is fucking retarded. Right. How the fuck so, you think like retarded? Back to the uh yeah, he, he's retarded overall. Salute to him. So let's get uh so back to the Geechee joint. You in you, you battle when did you find out it was gonna be in, in the street, like on that setting like that? Did you know it before you got there? You find out when you got there. No, nah, I know it. Outside? I know it. They, I know it. You understand? Like, like when, when I approach a battle too, I, I also approach it as a businessman. And let me say this for for y'all that's that's watching and listening, man. I wasn't. I'm still learning as I go right now. I just I'm fortunate that people around me that's like I said doing better than me that 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 been on this shit that I can learn from. Man, I don't know everything. Don't I don't even want you want y'all to think I'm just just big Wall Street business nigga that closed all cop type of big deals. No, mm-hmm. but I always had a lot of common sense. Like I have a lot of common sense. Like you could put me somewhere, I'll figure it out. So when mm-hmm. it comes to talking and doing business, I always had that. I, I, I always knew the deal has to make sense for me for me to want to do it. You know what I'm right. saying? It ain't about if it's a great deal or not. If the deal makes sense to me. I'm good on it. So when I go in these places, even talking in the battles, I go in there as a businessman. I need to know everything. If you want to be mm-hmm. real, and they might not, they might, they might not admit, admit this. The way it was set up with the people in the back and all that was my idea. Oh, okay. And 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 it was and I was like, and cause, because because they came to me, they told me how it was gonna be. We we, we think about doing an outside setting. Where it's like you 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 on a street corner or or you rapping like that and I'm like oh that sounds dope I said that's the case that's dope you should put people around because back in the day don't put a lot of people 
for a little bit of people around because it makes it look like we on the streets battling like it used to be back in the day. So it was just like a, mm. a talk we was having and it came. So let me not say that was because of me, but it was just a back talk we was having. But, okay. I, but, but, but I always do that. So I always need to know everything was going on, how the shit going to look, blah, 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 because I need to know how I'm going to get into my shit. So um, did I like it? Nah, I didn't really care for it. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. Um, they, they had the cameras wrong. I'm going to tell the caffeine about that. You can't put the cameras on one side of a person while they're rapping and then put and then the crowd out. and smack on another side and then they tell you, make sure you look in the camera. Make sure you play the camera. Nobody's going to do that. Yeah, you got to rap. But, 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 because you're rapping. So you're going to do what comes natural. So what comes natural is looking where people is at, looking at your opponent, you know what I'm saying? That comes more natural mm. than looking into a camera. Right, right, right. That's right, on the right, other side you. of you. So the camera's on the right side. The people's on the left side. Your opponent is in front of you. You're going to look in front and to the left more than you look to the right because it's only the cameras there. You can't get a reaction enough from that camera. But I, I kept that in mind. That's why sometimes I did go to the camera, look in the camera, because I, I you know, so I try to play everything. But you're naturally just going to fade away from the camera. So um, when they were talking about the other battlers doing it, you got I, I know that's natural to do. So you can't. Right. The camera's got to be set up. The camera's got to be set up where smacking them is at and where the crowd is at. Everything has to be set up on one side. Right. So it's all, it's all, all the energy and everything is going the one way, not going the other way. So you're having to try to pay attention to three things at once and rap. Your opponent, the crowd, the camera, and rap. That's hard to do. They should have. They should have put the the people behind the camera. They could have kept smack mm. there. They should have put the people behind the camera. The, the people ain't need to be seen. And that's what I learned. Yeah, so too. now if I go yeah. up there and do it, if I go up there and do it now, the next time I do it, I don't want nobody there because now I did it. Mm. So I understand it ain't about who's there. It's about when this should go out into the world. The world right. is watching. So we don't need nobody there. I want to just like Mook and and Rock. Oh, okay. I see that. That's and when you say, I like that. When you say the world is watching, uh, the, a lot of people gave you shout outs. Uh, a couple of NBA players from NFL, and then um, definitely Lord, my man Lloyd Banks shouted you and and and, and get you out for the battle. You know, um, do you feel uh, like that's crazy? Card? Wait, what's crazy? Yeah, let me t- let me tell you because I, I, I saw Lloyd Banks, but I, I didn't see I didn't see nobody. I didn't really see nobody else, and I'm pretty sure they did. Mm-hmm. But I know you know how that should go. But I, I didn't see like normally I'll see the NBA players and things like that. Shout yeah. out, but I didn't. I don't know. I, I didn't really catch none of that. But I'm shout out Lloyd Bench. But um, I didn't know we we I didn't know they was looking at it like that. To be real with you, see people don't understand when you in that room, you don't know nothing that's going on until you get to a fucking computer or you get to Jay Black and them where they could tell you. I didn't know I won on the votes in there. I didn't know none of that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know how they was perceiving my shit. I just went there to execute and and. And do what I do. I was rapping for them out there, but I didn't know. I didn't know how they mm. took it because that's the hard. That's hard. That's the hard part. When I'm there, right? So you can't really know until like they tell you. You don't know, right? Yeah, you can't really know until they telling you after the battle who won round one, two, three on the cap. Yeah, I feel you. You get what so I'm saying. So you really don't so, know. You really don't know. So I didn't know that people were saying we saved the card. I didn't know the card was that bad. I watched some of the battles. But I, I I didn't watch all of it straight through. Like I would be at home, you know what I'm saying? I, yeah, I'm, I'm just chilling, not rapping. And, yeah, yeah. And, and, and yeah. So I I didn't know the card was was that bad to the point they said we saved the card. I, and I didn't know our battle was that good. Not saying just when you're there doing it, you're not looking at it like that. Yeah, and um, like I mentioned previously, I said uh, when you have only five battles on the card, and you have the co-main event, which is Pat Stay and K Shine. And Pat Stay does what he does. You know, he's freestyling. He doesn't really have some material together. And he, he's like, no, no knock on him. He's a legend in everything that he does, but I'm keeping it a thousand across the board. That's a co-main event. He don't really got his material together. And then K-Shine 3 owes him. And then you have the other battles on the card where, you know, b I had like a slippy blippy in one of his rounds and another round was choppy too. And like when you take three out of the five battles and you have issues where they're not clean or MC doesn't get through it, and then you get to your battle, it's like, damn, a lot of people feel like Gigi Gotti versus Good, they have the cards. <laughs> like, because it's not that. I, get I don't know what the what the conversation would be in the in the mass consensus, because when I look at the way the battle's released, URL dropped everything the same day. They never drop a whole event like that the same day. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, everything's rocked. Like, let's just get this out the way. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I mean, I feel, well, you, 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 URL, they, the last, like, three events, they started doing that, though. They started just dropping yeah, just everything on the app. Mm-hmm. I don't know. They, yeah. they started just doing it on the app. But, um, yeah, I forgot what the fuck I was going to say, nigga. Um, but as far, but you, you got to look at it like this. You putting two consistent people up against each other that don't choke or stumble and, and, and always have their material. Right. You know, you should have kind of know it was going to be like that. Like, I didn't expect each to go in there and stumble and choke and do none of that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, even no. though I forgot what round it was, I, I don't. He, he didn't choke or do none of that. He he, he oh he stopped because of the the shit was going on. The fucking there was something going on in the background. Yeah, but, it was like a it was like an alarm or some some shit was going on. It was something, but I didn't I didn't I, I didn't expect him to go up there and choke, stumble, or stop. I didn't expect that. Just like he shouldn't expect that from me. You point two people that's gonna you know you're not gonna get that from. So I already knew it was gonna. No, be No, you ain't getting that. You know what I'm saying? A, a, a good battle and, and that breath and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, yeah, I feel, I definitely feel that. So when you see that a lot of the reaction leaving the battle, and this is not just me, when you look on the app, you're ahead by a couple of votes in the overall battle against somebody with a very strong fan base and that did their thing. How does that make you feel to see that the fans are reacting to the battle in the way that you would like for them to have reacted. You know what I'm saying? Like, how does that feel? It, it, it feel good because I feel like it took years for the fans to buy into what I do, to, to appreciate what I do, to understand that, you know, it's not, yeah, all these niggas got balls. All these niggas is going to come in there and punch. These niggas is fucking the greatest battle rappers in the world. But it, it t- I feel like it took a little longer for the fans to appreciate what I bring right. to the game. That's something totally different than what everybody else brings. You get mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So it feels good for to feel like, wow, they, they finally appreciate what I do and they finally starting to understand what I do. Like even, And I, I think that comes with a lot of people growing, growing up. To the mm-hmm. point where, like, when I was younger, because I heard, I heard somebody say this. When I, when I was younger, I didn't like goods. So I fucking hate goods. Mm-hmm. So now that I'm a, I'm a man, I fuck with goods. I understand everything he does. I guess I was too young to get it. Not saying, like, I was right. doing something so big and all, and all that, but I, I, I guess it takes for a mature crowd to, to understand or to get me. But I, I, I just think it's dope that people are, uh, are just understanding what I do. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and appreciating the talent and, and what I do and, and what I bring to battle rap. That's all. Hey, yeah, you, know, you, know, you know something mom. else we spoke about, though? No, I'm, I'm sorry to question. Right. You know something we spoke about that I didn't notice that, that, that we spoke about? What? In the room, it was all fucking L.A. niggas there. The people yeah. that was the crowd. <laughs> let's let, let's break it down real quick. You got Geechee Gotti and his people. Mm-hmm. I mind you, I'm there with one person. Not to take no more, but I'm okay. there with one person. Just one person. That's it. Me and me and me, me and my child friend was my business partner for the Haymakers. You know what I'm saying? I'm there with him. It's just me and him. Mm-hmm. I just noticed his Geechee. He got a couple of dudes right. there. You got somebody said Daylight was there. I didn't even know Daylight. That's what was I heard. That I definitely heard that. Heard Daylight is from Daylight from L.A. You got uh Danny Myers there with a couple of his mm-hmm. peoples, L.A. Um. Was B dot there? Yeah, he was there. He was, he was battling. B dot was there. So I want y'all to see. I, these are all LA people. Now I'm understanding. Mm. You got Surf there. Who cool. mm-hmm. Surf is not gonna Surf is not gonna go with me. We know that. Period. You know what I'm saying? Then we got Champion there who gave Gucci the belt two years in a row. Was this a setup, mm-hmm. man? Mm. Was this a setup? Now I was wondering, was this a setup, my nigga? I mean, if the who's who's there has got to be there. But I wanted to ask you this: uh, in that room, when you leave out of that room, how did you feel about the battle? Like, did you feel like, you know, what I'm saying, like the energy was right, or you you, like you kind of had to wait? When you leave out there, you don't know. Like you, you mm. really don't know. You know what I'm saying? You really don't know. I feel like, like me thinking about who was there. Now I understand why I felt like there he got a little bit of a gas there, mm. but 
I knew I wasn't rapping for there though because it wasn't that much like ten people there was it wasn't that much people there with them. So I get when 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 you in that room though you don't know what's going on until you leave in here. Now mm. what I always worry about is I I knew it was a good back and forth battle because none of us stumbled both both our rounds was good and all that but in my head I'm counting the rounds as we go so as we go I'm like to me my first round is was was my favorite round. But you know, mm. you don't know how stuff like that. Don't mean that's gonna that's gonna show on camera when you do it, or the mm-hmm. fans might take it a totally different way. So then I'm like, all right, the first round is close. They might they they might edge in this, or or, or they might edge me, but they, they might edge in this. I don't know. And I'm like, the second right. round go boom. The second did this time counted in my head while while we did. Second round go. The second round was was um tough. So I'm like, the second round is tough, but I know what I got in my second. I said, so in my head, I'm like, I'm about to break all of this down. He said, I'm about to break, right. totally break all this shit down. That's what I do. So after I break it down, I'm like, they're going to give me this round. It's not possible okay. for them not to because I broke everything down, he said. So I'm like, but I, but I said, I know battle rap. So what they're going to do is they're going to split these two rounds no matter what. They're never going to say, this person won this one, this person won second round. They're always going to mm-hmm. split it and make it come down to a round, unless you completely get unless killed. Unless you're getting smoked. Yeah, if you're getting killed. Yeah, yeah. Unless, you, unless you're completely do that. getting killed. I do that unless... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just a natural thing pe- people do. That. That's why me, I judge battles as a hold. I don't mm-hmm. do it like that because you're going to naturally do that. I, I, I wait till everything is finished. I look at who was the most consistent. You know what I'm saying? What rounds stuck out more. That, that's just how I judge joint. But I know going into it, they're going to break it down 1-1 no matter what. If the rounds are close... They're gonna break him down one one and then judge one one. Yeah, one one going to the third. So then, when when he won on the third, I said, "Oh, I I I could beat this round, for no problem." Mm. This is a mm. round out of all the rounds. This is a round that I know I could beat. Right. With you know what I'm saying like like this round I should beat with, 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 without a problem. I don't think that this is gonna be the round that's not that close to me. It's take me out. And and and, 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 and it's just in my head because the whole battle was close. It wasn't no to my stand out more than somebody. The whole battle was close. Mm. Even in the third, I, I felt like I beat him in the third. I felt like the margin was a little higher than the other two rounds, but I do feel like it was still it was still close. But when I heard it there, I'm like, oh, yeah, I could I, I, I could beat this round. I'm going to beat this round. Like right, that, right. you know what I'm saying? But overall, I mean, it's a really good battle to me. And, like, I mean, I, I went U2-1, but, I mean, I could see where the person is coming to me telling me why – Geechee won. I got no issue with that. You know what I'm saying? And then, and as a fan, neither. I watched mm-hmm. it back more than once. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, me and you, I, I, you trying to send you the joint and everything. You know what I'm saying? So I, I know people really wanted to see it. I'm glad it came out and I got to watch it more than once. All right. So now I got to ask you uh, two bullshit questions. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, these, these, are the, these are the two bullshit questions of the day. No. Somebody, them, somebody commented, somebody commented, Goods was drinking out of an empty cup the whole night. <laughs> Uh, you get these questions, man. Yeah, they that's that's just weird. that's just weird, man. I don't I don't I don't understand, yo, bro. Let me tell you something. I don't understand why pe- people say shit like like I'm. Let's, let's be real, yo. At, at, at the age I am now, I'm mean, look, look, y'all niggas see me. I didn't work out, nigga. I didn't I didn't went from fucking two thirty five, two forty to one eighty. You can clearly right. see the difference in me. Like I like I work out. I'm in shape. I don't like, I don't like to drink no more like that. I only right. drink when I'm doing something. So when I mm-hmm. go to battle, that that's what I'm drinking because I'm doing something. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's that should make my shit come out fluent. That that shit. So why the fuck would I go up there with an empty cup? Like, I just wouldn't have went up there with no cup. Like, <laughs> right, right, right. I'm just not gonna go up there. I don't. I don't. Yeah, nigga, I don't want to hold that fucking cup up there. I thought it was stupid. Like, and then the next, the next question stupid. you already know the the, the sweater gate man. They were saying what? <laughs> there's blogs and everything talking about the Dior sweater. It said that you had the Canal Street, the Bang Bang. I don't believe it. I know you better than that. Oh, are I mean, you talking let's about address, no, yeah. the, the sweater? Let's address the sweater. It was real quick for the haters. No, nah, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Is is I mean, you know, it's, it's one. You you got a, a fake page. You got a, a, a tooth that well, nobody know who this is putting up a joint saying. But go look at the what they put up. It's like it, it's not even like a close thing. Like that was like that probably was the biggest reach in battle rap. It's the, he put up the real one and put up the fake one, 
and you can clearly see my shit is the real. The, difference is, the fake yeah, one looked yeah. wild fake. No, no, no. The, it the looked wild. One it was wild flagrant. Crazy. <laughs> Yo, bro, it was flagrant. Tell us wasn't even the same because on a on a, like on the one I got on a, on a, on, a, on the real one, that's not that's not like a white. It's like a uh, it's an off white. white. It's like a gray, old it's damn gray. The, yeah, I know some of the fake one is is man bright white it's eggshell white oh, <laughs> eggshell white. Eggshell white and the D's on it is mad little. You got the lowercase D's yeah. on it, like so. I'm like, yeah, wait, yeah, yeah. why the fuck would you? Why would you even? This is not a good comparison. But but you know what? But when you but when you go look at the comments, niggas saying the car, they they killing whoever put it up because they like all right, you know this is a real like you can clearly see you got the real one on. But that shit is all all fun. Of me. Yo, bro, this is stuff. I feel like this is what makes me me, and it's what keeps me relevant, and it's what makes me big in battle rap. If you're not nobody, they're not gonna do this. They don't give a fuck about your sweater or your shoes or your, or your hat. They, or they, they, like they, they're not gonna do this. But to, when to you're think, good, to yeah. think. Yeah, to think about me, I, I had fuck, and, and, and I don't, I don't like to say shit like this, and, and this is not, this is not bragging to nobody or something like this. This is just strictly comment, commenting off the sweater. You know what I'm saying? I had about forty thousand on in jewelry. Right, but now, <laughs> but the why, sweater, why took the, I, the sweater took the cake. You can, you can clearly <laughs> see, yeah, you can clearly see, you know, what's like a lot of these niggas running around with fake jewelry now. I know, I know that stuff. Jewelry is an investment. Don't ever get a twist. I want you to know this. Gold is an investment. I'm into jewelry. That's why I buy it because gold is an investment. If I ever get fucked up, I can go take that jewelry back to my jeweler. Drop that right there. Yeah. And, 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 and I can get most of the money back I paid for it. Matter of fact, I can get more now because gold is higher. And that's what I mean by investment. Niggas didn't understand when I said that. When I said I don't trust my against gay, that's to sound like I don't trust banks and that's how I invest my money. Gold go up and down. So if I bought gold at thirty three a gram, when I bought it, gold is now forty a gram. If I go take more, my yeah, shit yeah. back, I'm gonna get more. I'm gonna get more money back than what I paid for it. Right. Or at least break even. Mm. You don't do that with nothing. People don't understand right. that. No, this you is why I, buy, I buy jewelry. You know what I'm saying? This is why so, I buy yeah. jewelry. But the I'm, jury I'm did, the jury. The jury didn't make the story. The jury didn't. The, the, the jury didn't make the sweater. Made the story. <laughs> the the cup, cup and the sweater. And the sweater. <laughs> I mean, listen, man, it was a nice sweater, man. That was cash, man. I understand it was a nice sweater, but uh, uh, you know what? Let me let me tell let me tell people something, something else, and this is real shit. Normally for a battle, I gotta look at my head. I'm gonna go for it. every single battle. I'll go buy something just for that battle. For this battle, mm -hmm. I didn't have no look. I didn't, I I decided I was gonna wear that the last minute, and. I just said, fuck it. I'm not going to spend no money on this battle. I'm not in front because because now I'm not in front of no crowd no more. I'm not going to spend no, no money. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take things I got in my closet and just find something to put together and put it on. I had that sweater sitting there for dumb long, um, not that long, but that was the, that was I never wore it. I had those yes. now, and I could have easily did. I didn't want to do too much. I didn't want to do the Dior Dior sneakers, and I think that's just too much. It looked like I'm trying to front too much, and and, and that's what I'm trying to do. You know what I'm saying? But when right. I do, I'm going to give some my niggas a secret. When I do do a battle, I like for everything on me to be brand new. I'm stuck <laughs> to my socks, to my tank everything. top under. Everything has to be brand new. So I got like two pair of Dior's in there, but I wore both of them one time. I'm so nah. funny. I'm like, nah, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. Nah. So <laughs> and this, I'm funny like that. I'm being real. I'm funny like this. So. Right, right. I, I'm, so I got the sweater. There. I'm like, fuck it. I'm gonna just. At last time I said, I'm like, I ain't wear this. I'm gonna just wear this. Fuck it, man. I'm gonna just wear this sweater. Jeans I had on brand new. I popped the tags off them because I, you know, I just be buying shit. You can't go nowhere. It's cold. You can't do shit. So I just be having shit. Yeah, you going up. Yeah. So I look and I was like, you know what? These white Yeezys. I never wore these white Yeezys. They brand new. Uh, I can throw these on with this yeah, shit, yeah, man. This shit yeah, gonna yeah. go with it. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I just and I just did that. Yeah, I, I I didn't go I didn't go do go. Normally I go buy something, but for this this is my first time in this type of room. It ain't no crowd. I'm buying shit for the crowd or what I'm talking. It's it, you know I had to see what was going on in this type of room. So that was shit. I just actually just took out my closet and just put together and went to the battle. But I'm <laughs> that's gotta, but I'm glad they appreciate gonna, my sweater. That's gotta be that's gotta be the biggest flex ever to say. I just pulled something out my closet. I mean, the sweater was fifteen hundred, but I just pulled something out of my closet because I didn't want to buy nothing new. That's crazy. So, uh, I want to move into another subject right quick. People have been sure. talking about it. Uh, you know, what I'm saying Sue Surf, man. Is that a battle that will ever happen, or are you good on it? No, I'm good. 
all the way good. Was you was, was it something that you would have thought about before, but just the inconsistency got you like I'm Yeah, good. yeah, yeah, definitely. It was something and, and the inconsistency and, 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 and him not committing to it. We had mad times to commit to it. They hit they hit me for it. It was a time, it was actually one time did Beasley hit me. I hit Surf. Surf said he's with it. I called Beasley back, hit Surf, he said he would it, and nothing ever happened. So at this point, man, listen, I don't, I don't, I don't, like, I don't, I'm not into bad rap that much where it's like, I want to battle this person. You don't ever really see me do that. When a nigga like right. Regeechee, you know, I, I got the urge back to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because cause I got a love for battle rap, no matter what. You got to have a love to do it. It's like, I, I want right. to do it for the fans. Or sometimes I, sometimes I get antsy and I'm like, you know what, I'm ready. I want the fans to see something from me. Fuck that. Like, and that's why I was like, who's, who's the hottest nigga right now? Who's cooking Geechee? This would be a good battle, me and Geechee. So it ain't like I go and be like, I want this person. There's nobody I really want. So yeah, you never called niggas out. Surf, surf wasn't somebody I, I wanted, like I want. But it just, it, just, it just was a good battle, and that's what I look at. But the fact that it just never went down, I'm good at this point. He Surf will have to sit out for a year, and, and it will have to be a big thing again for me to want to battle Surf. Like, oh, Surf is coming back. Let's see what he do. And then... It can make sense, but as of right now, man, for a long time, like it's gonna be for a long time. I'm, I'm, I'm good on, I'm good on surf. I think I like, I like surf. We at? If you show me a face, if I said surf, I like you here, because he's, he's, he's yeah, a yeah, better, yeah. he's a better yeah, media host, yeah, caster, host. Uh, yeah, host than, than than a rapper at this point, a battle rapper. Right. Okay. So I got two thoughts on my mind, and one I wanted to ask you was, uh, would would you? I mean, I've seen you do it on other leagues and shit like that. But would you give a newer, like an up and coming cat, a shot? Don't you don't have to say who. I don't care about who and all that other shit. But I've seen like the rookies versus vets, and you know what I'm saying. Like people give younger yeah. people a shot. Is that something you would do, or are you just good on that? Uh, with me, I don't, I don't know, I don't know because I don't know if I would be enthused for three rounds. To do it, and mm. my my biggest thing is not cheating the fans. I don't I don't want to cheat the fans at all. I don't want to cheat the supporters, the people that watch me. I don't I don't want to cheat them at all. I don't want to do that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I pride myself of not cheating them. So for one round, mm. I could do it. I yeah, I, 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 I give you because all because all my one rounds be good. I'll give you a fucking crazy one rounder, but I, it, it just depends on if it's somebody that enthuses me enough to do that for three rounds and make me really want to battle them. So I'm gonna leave that as I don't I don't know. When you see me do it on other leagues, smaller leagues, it's because I'm doing a one round that I know I'm gonna give you a crazy one round. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like you versus Gage, you versus Jeffrey, you versus, yeah, I've seen those. So you get what I'm okay, saying? Okay, and um, right. Another thing is this: um, you, you know, um, being somebody who's been around top tiers since you got here, type shit. Um, what is it? about you this year i think we've seen you more than ever before because the thing about good just to be like good just shows up raps and goes home no knocking that but the battle rap community didn't have a gauge on you because you didn't really you wasn't really out there you didn't have a youtube channel we didn't really hear from you except for when it was time for you to battle and nobody really knew what your personality was so sometimes that would be a knock where certain fans would be like you know he don't fuck with us. You know what I'm saying? And right, now right. Mm-hmm. they can see you got what's good show. They can see you doing different extensive interviews. They see you on platforms like this. What is it that's changed or made you say, you know what? I, 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 I'm going I'm to I'm spin the block and I'm going I'm to I'm show niggas who I am as a person. Like what, what made that change? In you? Um, because it's about keeping yourself relevant. You know, so even, even back then when I wasn't, I wasn't doing a lot but I was doing enough to keep myself relevant. Whether it was, if I wasn't battling, a dope cypher might come out. You might be like, yo, you heard good mm-hmm. in that cypher? Or so right. I was always doing something to keep myself relevant. And at this time, right now, these are the things I'm doing to keep myself relevant. And I do want to show more my... Because like, a lot of people used to think I was an asshole. And I'm really not. I'm mm-hmm. really a regular cool nigga. Like, I mean, you could talk to me like... I, and people thought I was maybe stuck up or cocky or self-centered. And I'm really not, though. And anybody mm-hmm. that ever spoke to me, I tell you, like, you know, I used to think Goods, like, I had fans that I used to think Goods was like that. 
you know, till I met him, that nigga well cool. Like so I saw the thing like right. niggas really think I'm like this. Like so you know, me doing the stuff I'm doing now, like the show and all that it's, it's showing people me. It's showing people my personality and that yeah, I got I can be cocky and stuck up and I can be like that's all a part of me. But I'm actually a cool ass nigga. That's just me. It's a cool regular mm. nigga. You know what I'm right. saying? I talk much. That's it. So And I was about to say I good. must I must um I must attest to that because I've had your number for years and I think like I've never had an instance where I hit you about anything, whether it's a battle that you had going on or whatever the case may be where I didn't hear back. You always, you know what I'm saying? Like you always respect me, you always respond. And we have a relationship as to where if I tell you, I feel like you won, I feel like you won. If I felt like somebody got you, I felt like somebody got you. You could say that. Yeah, like, but I don't know why there, there are certain battlers. There are certain battlers that, once you do a recap on them and tell them that you don't feel like they won or you feel like somebody got it, when you hit them back about something regular, they don't want to talk no more. It's like, oh, no, I'm supposed to feel like you won every battle. <laughs> and it like, that's don't work my like point. That. Like, yeah, I don't, but yo, this shit, this shit is a, this shit is a, this whole game is a game of opinions. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, we just implemented the, the voting system in this, right? But either mm -hmm. now, e e either, even with the voting system, it still doesn't, you know, you still, it's still people that got their own opinions, no matter how you right. put it. So this, all, mm -hmm. all this shit is opinion. So if somebody feel like, you know, you've lost, you know, what's, what's the problem? Like, do like, you got to ask the bell, like, do you really feel like you won every single battle clear? <laughs> no, that's like asking me that. Do I feel like I won every single battle clear? No, hell no. Do I feel like I lost right. the battle? No, I don't. But I don't feel like I won every battle clear neither. So I understand all my battles be good battles. So I understand that mm -hmm. if somebody say this person won, if somebody say I won, now I could tell you certain battles that I feel like no, I, I beat him. It wasn't clear, mm -hmm. but it was like I, I beat him though. You could you could tell I beat him, but I can understand because if the person in choke stumped when he got through his shit and he was good. I can understand somebody else saying he won, and I'm never gonna argue as an opinion. Niggas mm -hmm. are just gonna be having a tough skin, man. They be insecure about themselves. Right, 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 right. And I think that that's a big part of this thing is being self accountable and being humble and realizing that you know somebody can feel like a person won or feel like a person got it, and it doesn't it doesn't change how I feel about an MC. It's just like if I feel like a certain person won in battle, that's just my opinion. And my my opinion. I'm not going to get everyone right, you know what I'm saying? But there are going to be some that we can have these conversations about. And because you have fans that really, 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 really gravitated towards you talking about things like credit. I know a lot of people don't realize that how important credit is. There's some people who don't even care or don't know nothing about credit or don't really give a fuck about it. But I really mm -hmm. have on my Twitter right now where I've made comments where uh, I mean, I posted a tweet recently and said that, uh, and you'll probably agree with this too. I said, why is it that the credit bureaus only let your score go up two, three points at a time, but miss a payment and your shit going to drop 80 points the same day? That's you know what I'm saying? Word. <laughs> Word. And, they re and then somebody, then the first thing somebody did was take a gift of you and say, I'm worried about if my credit dropped and replied to me with that. So they associated the fact that you bring in things like speaking about credit, speaking about equity, speaking about owning things. And they, they related it to, me and battle rap with you, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm talking mm -hmm. about. Like that type of shit is invaluable. So life lessons that people get from just watching battles. Right. But I'm sick if my right. credit drops. <laughs> um, <laughs> so. um, people don't understand that you got to be in that boat, nigga. Your, your, your credit drop, you feel like <laughs> you, you you feel like you got shot. <laughs> your day is over. I'm going home. I gotta figure your this day shit out. Is done. You gotta figure it out. Niggas don't understand it. And, and and listen, man, I didn't understand none of that shit until I started getting into that type of shit, wanting my life to be better and better in that way. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's hard when you once you start getting it right, the only thing you wanna do is uh is keeping it right, you know what I'm saying? And I know that from you as not just being a battle rapper, as being a parent too, because a lot of people know you for that. And that's one of the final things that I have. How's, how's your daughter's school and all of that? I hate virtual school. This shit drives me crazy. Yeah, yeah, no. Nah. She actually doing, she's doing good. She surprised me. Her little charter little ass. She's she doing good, though. She's doing good. <laughs> I, you know what I'm saying? I, 
I asked her how hard it was. Is it, is it hard enough? But you know, my, my daughter right now is 14. My daughter in high school, yo. She's oh, so a teenager, so. Yeah, yeah she yeah. knows what she got to do. She wake up, go to school herself, and do what she got to do. She know. I Listen, oh, okay. I, I keep it real. I keep it real simple with, with me and my daughter. Really shit. I tell her, listen, mm-hmm. we both got jobs. It's a, it's a partnership. It's a 50 50 partnership. I explain to her like this it's a 50 50 partnership. Your, your, you you got to own up to your part of the deal. You got to go to school, do good in school, and, and that's pretty much it. Do do your little chores around the house, and that's it. My part of the deal, for you doing that, I'll get you all these sneakers you want and, and, and computers and, and clothes. I, I, I'll i get you that. That's my part of the deal. So as long as you own, mm. hold up your bargain, your, your end, I'll hold up my end. The minute you don't hold up your end, I'm good. Mm. Now, uh, before we get out of here, talk to them about the music, man. I've seen the video you had with Dave East, you know what I'm saying? Like, they... People know good to do the music. I do too. I respect the music. What's up with the music, man? Definitely got to plug that. Man, I, I just dropped a, a drum with Method Man too. I don't know if you heard that. Mm, I out. did see the link. I didn't. Oh, what yeah, we gonna no, do with that? You know, what we gonna do with that. We gonna we gonna take we gonna take the drum with Method Man, and we gonna put that in the beginning and at the end of this video. You know what I'm saying? We gonna promote yeah, that. that. Yeah, we got to that promote that. Crazy. Yeah, go see, go go watch the video. That I ain't gonna lie, that joint is crazy. It's called um, "What New York Sound Like." It's oh my god, mm. that's crazy. Yeah, we, I just dropped that one right, the day after the battle. Yeah, I dropped it the day after the battle. Um, the joint shout to Davey, that's my man. That that, that joint is crazy. Rest in peace, Fred the God. So that was that was my friend, friend man. Um, I got, that, that yeah, love friend. crazy, but yeah, it's just it's. I mean, I've been doing music though. I'm saying so it's like I actually can do music. It's not a I've, I've been doing that for a long time. So you know what I'm saying. So yeah, um, I got a tape dropping on Christmas. Uh, oh, the, uh, my EP did very good too. The the, the joint that the day mm. piece and the Fred joint was on. You know where though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that did very. Yeah, that was good. good. That was good. That was good. I had that. I have that. I have that. That's actually good. Yeah, That's good. They, good piece that of did project. very good. Um, I got a joint. I got a joint dropping Christmas called Slip Talk. Okay. Yeah, Ooh, so, back to back. Yeah, I ain't playing, bro. I'm working. I it's, you got to work. Like what, 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 when I when one thing I never did is when I came. I just the first time I really I, I used the battle, and I was I'm gonna keep the flame going to lead into the next year. So it was like I did the battle. Mm-hmm. Me and Geechee had a fucking crazy battle. I dropped the video right the next day. It was all planned. I dropped the video the next day. But I'm gonna give you this with meth. Boom! This is our son. That was big. Now I got the tape coming Christmas. I'm gonna ride all this out until you know what I'm saying. Right, right, right. You got to ride that momentum and keep that wave going because, uh, like I said, with the music, I remember you doing Cyphers a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? And I remember old DVDs. I seen you on a Sub-Zero DVD with you, Rex, Fred the Godson from like a hundred years ago. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I remember right. y'all in them Cyphers from way back then, and I know you and Fred was um was good friends. And it's good to see that you're doing the music. The final question is, are we going to see Goods battling in 2021? Um, I think I, I think it's a high. I think it's actually a high, a high chance of that. I think it's a high mm. chance of that. I mean, I mean he did I'm say when they booked you, know it looks like a partnership. You know, what I'm saying? yeah, it's definitely it's because you know it's because <laughs> I don't. Like I, I said this on my show, I don't, I don't, I don't feel like nobody should look at it as as work. You know, when, like when you just said something about we work for the same, nah, you work for them. I, I don't work for them. <laughs> I don't, I don't. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I, I guess it is work when you got a contract and you and you contract the battle five times that year. That's work. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Me as a partnership, we, we I, I come out when I come out when it's time when I feel like coming out and and, and we agree upon something, I go do it and then we leave it alone. Oh, so it's not no. We doing three, or we doing two, or we doing nah. We don't even talk about that. They don't even if a big battle pop up th- that they think is is good for me. They'll call me. They'll go. You feel about this right here? This I, this is gonna be dope. Or they hear some them to talking. Yo, I, I see. I see y'all talking. What's what's going on? And I agree to do it. Boom, boom. We we, we discuss the numbers. We agree. We, we meet where we gonna meet. We do it. If if we can't meet on the numbers, I don't do it. So it's, right, it's not, right, it's not right. see, it, 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 it ain't it ain't me working because if you if you working, I, I wouldn't be uh 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 push 
turn down the Geechee battle for Summer Madness. If I was working, I would have had to do it. You get what I'm saying? Right, right, right. They offered me a number. We we couldn't get to a number that 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 that, that was good for me. I said, Nah, I'm good. I'm I'm a chill. Then they bring it back to me around when the budget was a little bigger. I guess you get what I'm saying. So it's a partnership, man. For me, I don't know about nobody else, but I don't think no battle rapper that comes out or I feel like it's a partnership between the both of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like that, unless you, I mean, I guess when you battling, when you contract the battle a lot, I, I, I guess it is like that. It is right, you right, to and build something. Right, and you know what? Hey, what happens is with a lot of the newer guys, with a lot of the newer guys, if if a league feels like they're the reason why they, why you're relevant, like they found you, they can approach you in a totally different manner than they can somebody who's been around. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's like, no, nah, I found you. <laughs> you got to do these eight battles a year. <laughs> like, and I'm not saying I don't know that that's the situation with anybody in particular, but I know that that that's what somebody could say is like, yo. I'm the reason why you're relevant. You got to, you know what I'm saying? But when it comes to somebody like you, you know, you could be like more so like this is a partnership. Like we, we have to come together and make, and make an event or make this happen. Because like I said, every time goods battles, headlines, you know what I'm saying? It ain't like you battling on the, now the the final thing I want to let you go is being a headliner important to you or it is what it is. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't really know how to answer that because I, since my career, since I came out, I was always pretty much a headliner. I'm either the, the cold, the cold main battle or the, or the main battle. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't know, but um, I don't, I don't really think about that though because, because as you can see, like I'll go like when, when the big cards was out, like when me and Verb battle, we was the. Main event or the, or the head or or or, or, or the main or the main event. It was even one of one of the two because I'm is always up there. But me and Verb decided to go. We wanted to go second. Oh, so you want to get out of the way. energy? No, that's when the energy, energy in the room is at yeah. its peak. Yo, bro, I'm a thinking nigga. Like I think about all that. So even though mm. we was the main event or the co-main event, we want uh, we wanted to go second. So I don't mm. really think about that. You know what I'm saying? And you because got hit me, with because, the extension. And you got hit with the extension. stood in front of some crazy lines in your career, I must say. You stood in front of some crazy I mean, lines. Dude, I got, I stood, nigga, that, that, that shit, that line was, oh, man, that was, that, that, and that fucking, this is your king, all them, them shits is like room fucking, <laughs> the, the walls cracking in the room. Nigga. To come <laughs> back from that. They, yeah, yeah, yeah. And to still be around and to still be, you know, relevant, like, at this point in your career. And you ain't even, like, and the thing about Goods that I must say is that you haven't battled as many people as a lot of the other veterans have or the people that have been around, the legends. They battled, like, damn near everybody. There's so many people you have not battled yet. So if you chose to do this more consistently, you would have a whole laundry list of people that you could battle. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that, 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 now, and that's the last, like one of the one of the questions that I did have. How does it feel to be in the same category as some of the other big name veterans, and you don't have to, uh, you have you don't have the thirty forty battles? Because it, it's, not, it's about quality, not quantity. Right, right, you know right. right. Over the quality, the quality, quality over the quantity. Right, the quality over the quantity. Oh, man, you. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. I'd rather that. So that's why I'm able to be here and, and still be a top tier and a vet and a God can and all that. I, I, I'm able to do that because it's right, that right, right, take. Right. Come on, dude, look, I just stood in front of fucking DG who was fucking smoking everything, who was fucking mad consistent two time champion every year. I do shit like that all the time. It, it right, just be right, shit like right. that. I take the right battles. That's all. Take the right. It's all about, yeah, you're right. It is all about taking the right names, right time, right battles, and it's just about a, a certain type of energy. But uh, before we leave right now, uh, where, where do people can follow you at if they want to keep in touch with your music or follow you on Twitter? What is it, Good Day Animal on everything? Or how does that work? Uh, Good Day Animal on I- IG. You know, that's what I'm mostly on. Um, I'm starting to be on right. Twitter a little more now. So Twitter, the real goods. Um, you got a, you got a big following on Twitter, man. You got you to gotta, you gotta, you gotta show some love and respect to your Twitter following, man. You got a pretty big 
following on Twitter, man. They don't see yeah, you. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Yeah, I've been I've been on there more though. I've been on there talking more and, and doing that. I'm not on Facebook. I don't be on Facebook at all. I'm on Facebook works no more. But I, I got I got. Yeah, get I don't even know. Facebook. I, yeah, I'm so lost on Facebook, but uh, Twitter, um, the real goods, IG goods, the animal. Yeah. Right. You know, the, the thing about the Facebook shit is, like, it'd be, like, Facebook be so much, like, chatty, like, gossipy shit. So the real fans that really support you really be on, like, the gram and on Twitter and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So I understand why a lot of people don't really be on Facebook like that. So, but, yeah, your Twitter, I know a lot, I see a lot of the tweets, you know what I'm saying? Like, the people be really supporting, and that's where a lot of the fans go after the battles and shit like that. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's good to hear from you, man. You know, um, really good battle with Geechee Gotti. Uh, to me, save the event. You know what I'm saying? Uh, thank yeah. you for, for giving us something that we could rewatch and talk about and things like that. And uh, we look forward to hearing from you again, man. You got to keep this shit going, my guy. Yeah, I appreciate you for having me, man. Dope, dope. Uh, all right, well, stay up, my guy. One. One.